Talent Live semi-final number two. Next up tonight is a group of singing school kids who got a surprise visit from Simon here. And then they provided us with one of the most moving auditions of the series. Every single one of them did their parents proud. And tonight, they're determined to try and march on to the final. It's Voices of Armed Forces Children Choir. We are military children and our parents are serving or have served in the military. We came together to sing songs about how it feels to be a military child. When Simon surprised us at rehearsals, we just couldn't believe it. You are going to be on Britain's Got Talent. Britain's Got Talent has given these kids something to focus on. When the kids are away from their parents for a long period of time, I think it's unimaginably tough. But when they get back together, that moment is something incredible. It's the most amazing feeling when my dad comes back. Getting through to the final will be the best thing ever. I couldn't be prouder of my parents and we need to sing our hearts out and make our parents proud. one of the most emotional and courageous performances that I've ever seen on Britain's Got Talent. Every single one of you <laughs> deserves this. I can see how 
how much emotion there are. So many of you are in tears. I hope they're happy tears because this evening you have done yourselves proud. I feel so proud of you all. I, I barely know you, but I just want to give all of you a massive cuddle because you were brilliant. <laughs> All of you were amazing. I think remembering that all of your mums, or actually, yeah, mums and dads are in the armed forces, which is why this choir came together. And if you think about, you know, what's happening in the world right now <coughs> with the Jubilee, it's so interesting, isn't it, how a bunch of really talented kids can make a much stronger message than a bunch of boring politicians. <laughs> because that was everything we would have wanted from you in the finals. I'm so proud of all of you. Congratulations. And I love the song as well, by the way. Yeah, it, was, it was sort of the perfect mixture of vulnerability and strength because you let yourselves be emotional because it's a very emotional song, a very emotional message. And I was just looking at it and thinking, you know, every kid watching this at home would want to swap places with you because you're all heroes too, because you can get up on that stage and deliver that incredible performance. I just love that you all have each other and I hope you remain the greatest of friends for the rest of your lives. You are just all beautiful, every single one of you. And like Amanda said, if I could come up there and squeeze you all, give you a big hug, I would. That was wonderful. You should be so proud. Thank you, judges. Oh, I mean, well done. It, it, it was sensational. Amazing, amazing, stunning. And thank you so much for putting it to us. Poppy, can I ask you, how was it for you, darling? Really, you know. Yeah, you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was fun. Tiny. Yeah. Oh, well, you've been absolutely super fun. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Oh, just want to hug them all. And if you want to support Voices of Armed Forces Children Choir, just follow the details on screen. But remember, the vote doesn't open until after the last act is performed. One more time, Voices of Armed Forces. comes to Britain's Got Talent, there's one thing you can always rely on. Belton Catering. I mean, the lasagna today was chef's kiss. No, no, I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about talented kids. Oh. And we've got two of the best on the way. Ryland Petty and Dante Marvin are coming up right after this break. See you in a few minutes.